Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Hamming code example problem in Computer Organization and Architecture Digital Logic Design Course, Switching TV and Logic Design Course and Computer Networks Course. It is one of the most important technique for both error detection and error correction technique. By using this technique, we can detect the error in the given message and also we have to correct that error. Because of that reason, we can say that Hamming code is an error detection and error correction code. Now we can go for one example problem on Hamming code. In the previous videos, we have already solved two example problems. If anybody wants, please refer that problems in my YouTube channel. Now, generate the Hamming code for the given message 1011. The given message is 1011. How many number of bits that are present in the given message that is denoted by capital M? So that is equal to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 bits are there. Therefore, M is equal to 4. Next one, number of parity bits that can be appended can be calculated by using the formula two power p greater than or equal to m plus p plus 1 where p is nothing but required number of parity bits m is nothing but number of bits in the given message so now 2 power p greater than or equal to what is m value 4 plus p plus 1 now we have to assume p value for which value of p it satisfies the condition so suppose i am taking p value as 3 2 power 3 greater than or equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1 so 2 power 3 is 8 8 greater than or equal to 8 so condition true so therefore we can say that number of parity bits is equal to 3 parity bits that can be denoted by p p is equal to 3 so therefore total number of bits Total number of bits is equal to m plus p. So m value is 4 and p value is 3. So 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7. So total number of bits in the given message after appending the parity bits. So that is equal to 7. Now we have to write up 7 bits from right to left. So here I am um, writing bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the 7 bit positions. Parity bits are always located at 2 powers positions. So, 1 can be written as 2 power 0, 2 can be written as 2 power 1, 4 can be written as 2 power 2. So, parity bit P1 can be located at this position, parity bit P2 can be located at this position, parity bit 4th bit can be located at this position. 
so the remaining in the remaining positions message bits are located so here this is message bit 1 message bit 2 message bit 3 and message bit 4 okay so what is the message bits 1011 so here msb bit always written here 1 and 0 is m3 bit and 1 is m2 bit and here 1 is m1 bit now we have to calculate p4 bit p2 bit and p1 bit before calculating p1 p2 p4 bits we have to write the binary form so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so for this 7 bit positions we have to write the binary form so that is 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so parity bits plus message bits that is equal to 7 7 can be written as approximately 2 power 3 so that every bit can be represented in 3 bit binary after writing these 7 bits in binary form now we have to calculate the p1 parity bit for calculating the P1 parity bit, we have to consider first column of the 3 bit binary. In that first column, where the ones are present. So, 1 is present at first position, third position, fifth position, and seventh one. So, we are calculating P1 so that the one present at this position cannot be considered. The remaining positions once can be considered. Here 1 is present at third one, exclusive R. 1 is present at fifth, exclusive R. 1 is present at seventh. Okay. Now, what is the bit value at third one? What is the bit value at third one? So, message bit value 1. What is the message bit value at 5th one? 1. What is the message bit value at 7th one? 1. So 1 exclusive R1 that is 0. 0 exclusive R1 that is equal to 1. Okay. In the exclusive R operation both bits are same. The output is 0. Both bits are different. The output is 1. So 1 exclusive R1. Both bits are same. Output is 0. 0 exclusive R1. Both bits are different. The output is 1. Next one. Now we have to calculate parity bit P2 value. For calculating parity bit P2 value, we have considered the second column. Okay. In that second column, where the 1s are present. Here 1 is present at 2nd, 1 is present at 3rd, 1 is present at 6th. 1 is present at 7. But we are uh, calculating P2 so that 1 present at second one is not considered. The remaining positions ones are considered. Here 1 is present at third one. 1 is present at sixth one. 1 is present at seventh one. Now, what is the message bit value at third? So that is 1. Exclusive one. What is the message bit value at 6? 0. What is the message bit value at 7? So that is 1. 1 exclusive or 0. That is 1. 1 exclusive or 1. That is 0. Next. Next we have to calculate the parity bit value P4. For calculating the parity bit P4, we are considering last column. So that is P4. In the last column, where the ones are present, here one is present at fourth position, fifth position, sixth position, and seventh position. We are calculating P4 so that this one is not considered at fourth one. The remaining ones are considered. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. 
what is the message with value at fifth position that is one exclusive r what is the message with value at sixth one zero what is the message with value at seventh one one so that is equal to one exclusive r zero that is one one exclusive r one that is zero okay once we are calculating the parity with values p1 p2 p4 we have to write the message so this message contains both message bits and parity bits so that are m4 m3 m2 p4 m1 p2 p1 what is m4 value 1 What is M3 value? Zero. What is M2 value? One. What is P4 value? Zero. What is M1 value? One. What is P2 value? Zero. What is P1 value? So that is one. Okay. So observe this one. How many number of bits are present? So seven bits are present. Three bits are message bits and three bits are parity bits. Okay. So this is the therefore Hamming fold is equal to Hamming fold is equal to one zero one zero one zero one. Okay. So in this way, how to generate the Hamming fold for the given message? Sometimes in the given problem, the received message at the receiver is also given. At that time, to identify the error, this Hamming code generated actually is compared with the received message at the receiver bit by bit. At which position they are different? At that position, error is occurred. But in the given problem, only what is the Hamming code that is generated? This is the Hamming code is generated. So the received message at the receiver is compared with the Hamming code that is generated. Bit by bit comparison can be made. Okay, at which position they are different? That position can be counted from LSB to MSB. That problems are already discussed in the previous videos. If anybody wants, please refer the previous videos. I hope. All of you understanding uh, this uh, video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. The bell is really important. After subscribing my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. If anybody wants, if anybody have doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Thank you, thank you, Vanandal, for watching this video.